have their first go at it. That's right. Honestly, while EDG did pick up a lot of beef early on, AHQ has picked up a lot of stuff that can just sit in that beef and hopefully marinate a little bit and finish them <laughs> off. We'll see what can be served up for us. Once again, we'll be looking to Twitter to see how you think this game will go. Tweet hashtag EDG win or hashtag AHQ win to at LOL Esports. As usual, we'll tally those up and get the vote halfway through the game or somewhere in there. We definitely saw a lot of votes coming up for Besiktas last time. That fan base, very, very big. We'll see whose fans are standing Again, behind. Hanging out just yeah. behind the wall. The threat of the Lantern from Albus is very scary. And nice Albus, jump. that is caught out. They're going in for more, but they've turned. It's going to be Mountain as well coming into this fight. Can he get over the wall? He wants to use it to actually pop somebody up, so he's waiting, and he may just let him walk out. Death very low on mana. He's the one to get grabbed. Forces the flash out. Oh! Ignite onto Death. He's chugging the potion, but it's the hit coming in from Albus, and they keep going for clear love, but get knocked up by Mako. Now here comes Pawn. He's instantly exhausted. AHQ fighting a battle on two fronts and looking for Pawn, but it's Mako that's in trouble. He will get turned into beef steak as Mountain as well as Westall combo. AHQ with the first two kills. And now it becomes more about the dragon. Remember, a Sejuani at level six is a terrifying thing if he can land that glacial prison. Whoa! Oh, right. That's a massive Onto cataclysm. Death. The Requiem coming down. That's the window they need to not fight in. But AHQ is going to make it happen. And EDD starts to answer very nicely. The home no. guard teleport coming in. Actually, it's not on the home guard, but the teleport works for Koro. Ziv's a bit too big to keep going on. They should be able to finalize this one out. Koro gets the smite. They're going to transfer this one over to Pawn. Actually, Koro gets it in the end. And a four for two in favor of EDG. Dragon 4 HQ can HQ2 can test, but speed trying on depth. He wants to swap. Oh, he's gonna get the swap. Mako knocks him up. And oh. can he get to the left? Oh. No, because he's knocked away from it. It's not over yet as the teleports come in for more action. Deft cuts him down. He wants more body parts to attach to that Urgot. Mountain now onto Deft. This didn't work last time, and Mountain's actually forced to flash out. Siv doing some work on the backside, but he was really being peeled by Mako as EDG starts to scramble and find the members of AHQ. One for two. There's no reason for Clear Love to go elsewhere right now. He knows Koro is free farming and will outscale at this point. And here we go. Maybe if Clear Love would have been there, the one time he's not. Requiem window coming in. Can they make the nightmare? And they do for Deft. Mako's now going to have a tough time getting out of this, but we got a double rotation down Clear Love as well as Pawn to take advantages off of. And look at the minimap. Koro is already in the mid lane. Ziv trying to make his way down, but Meganar's active. That's a smite down onto Westall, and the exhaust is replied. They're trying to get him down. EDG is on the dragon right now. Grabbed by Clear Love. Koro gets out on that one. Whoa! Oh, and misses and gets immediately swapped by Def to save it. He then goes into the fight. Mountain still with his ultimate up, but I think it's all disengaged from this time out for AHQ. There's the fate's call. He's back in! Game, but it missed! It completely missed! And AHQ actually still wants it! It's one of those super. Super tank fights that we keep talking about. Death running low on mana, has down in the bottom lane, oh. and has got a kill onto Mako. Oh, no, but here comes the power pony. cora has got one, clear love with another. Mountain is in retreat, but it's not enough. Ziv goes down, and that's an EDG whitewash. AHQ to kill Koro at this point in the game. They, they have very few tools to do so. They have the two items on, and Westor is still working on his major near the large rod item, and EDG is just looking to get picks. And that's going to be Mountain trying to dive in. He's got a good collapse on the team, but it looks like EDG's able to assess this one just right. Westor very low, but in a great spot to defile damage. That's the knockup coming in. Can they get out? EDG, Ooh. oh, huge Whoa. damage from the Requiem, and that's going to give him enough time to not really live in the fight. Actually, I am wrong. That is Ziv going down. I thought he was going to be able to take out Mako and turn to another one. It seemed like none of the fights EDG took were planned. It, it was mainly, hey, someone was killing a pink ward, so everything ended up flying off. This time, EDG is making the plays like that flash ultimate from Pawn. And here comes Koro. Koro come flying in, not gonna have the home guard right away since it's tagged, but they do get a nice ultimate to continue the fight. Clear left just on the edge of Anne, but he's getting the kite back. He will eventually have to be caught out by this one. Dodges the Arctic Assault, but he wants to stay in the fight. How many arrows does he have in <laughs> Clear Love? Rend it! Takes about half his HP on that one, and EDG's trying to figure out who they want. Very scattered, very nice to get uh, the Karthus down outside of the fight, but they're not even afraid to fight in it. They are not, and is our final alive, but what are you going to do against those tanks? He hops over the wall. How is he still alive? Cheeky play. I mean, that's at least 15 auto attacks right there on a clear love, as well as the damage. 
No, couldn't get him. No, he couldn't, but Koro does find Ann. Ann's in trouble and he is down. Ooh. Questor gets caught by the Glacial Prison. He's in full retreat. And EDG, a running rampage of AHQ. Ziv not even close to getting a NAR. They all have to scatter. A triple kill coming in now for Koro. The legendary horse, 10-0-6. And Deft is going to finish off Albus just to boot on the fight. That's at least 15 auto attacks right there on a clear level, as well as the damage. No, couldn't get him. No, he couldn't, but Koro does find Ann. Ann's in trouble, and he is down. Ooh. Questor gets caught by the Glacial Prison. He's in full retreat, and EDG, a running rampage of AHQ. Ziv not even close to getting a NAR. They all have to scatter. A triple kill coming in now for Koro. The legendary horse, 10-0-6, and Deft is going to finish off Albus just to boot on the fight on EDG as well. Everyone on their team, when they're right. in range of the locket, has over 100 magic resistance. Uh, more on some people, so not even a Void Staff on West, or even if he sits in the middle, they're done. Goodbye, and the Insta-Flash from Def AHQ now scattering. Despite that fantastic gnaw, it's not going to be enough. Koro dives the back line of the Onslaught to Shadows. West door is down. Requiem starts to get channeled, and here's the damage on EDG. Still, it's that end damage now, and not enough to keep them alive in the fight. It's really not even tickling. E EDG at this point as they have the base to themselves. They ace AHQ. They get a lead. They know how to hammer it home. They still have the Baron buff. That's a five for one. They're pushing on the Nexus. We oh, know this bit. is how EGG does it. Once they can go for Baron, they go for the win. It's almost a prerequisite to every one of their games, whether it's at 20 minutes or now at 34 minutes. 28 to 10. EDG come out strong with a 35 minute game over AHQ and Death sacrifices himself. What a fantastic win for EDG. A lot so of skirmishes. Risks. So few risks, though, on EDG's side. Yeah, measured early game, committing to fights, 